I've never used a waffle maker before so I wasn't even sure what to expect but, this made it super easy. I was the queen of Brinner, breakfast for dinner. For the manual I cleaned then seasoned both plates before use. I used boxed pancake, waffle mix, sprayed both plates with no stick coming spray before each waffle. Let each waffle cook for 6 minutes, even threw mini chocolate chips on top of the batter and for each waffle I used one. 5 ladles full for each one. I now know from this test run I should probably use 2 ladles full, or a smidge more, to get batter all the way to the edges. Overall A plus from me. I've had this waffle maker for a few months now. The iron has a fast heat up and does not need to be seasoned before each use after the first seasoning. It makes some wonderful waffles. All of mine come out crispy and golden brown. You do have the option of selecting your toast level but for the most crispy of waffles cook for a minute or two longer after major steaming stops. When filling my iron with batter I pour a tad less than two-thirds cup of batter and use a spoon to spread the batter around. If you do this, you have to move quickly as the waffle starts cooking the second it hits the griddle. Using more batter than two-thirds cup will equate to batter spilling out of the iron making clean up a hassle. The iron cleans well after use. I only wipe mine down with a damp cloth as the iron doesn't get very dirty. All recipes do not cook the same so you will have variations in color and crispiness of your waffles. To remove my waffle, I use a fork and butter knife. Waffles or any other item being cooked in the iron will not stick provided the batter or dough has enough oils used. 1 to 4 tablespoons of an oil of choice. I normally use extra virgin, virgin coconut oil in my batter. Is recommended to prevent sticking against the Teflon cook surface. Any leftover waffles can be toasted in a toaster oven or traditional toaster the next day. I have noted that waffles that were frozen should be eaten within a 3 day time span. Otherwise they end up tasting freezer burnt. Overall great buy and awesome waffles. It's simple easy and inexpensive. Waffles turn out great. I even make my gluten free waffles on this and they turn out super yummy. Functions pretty well for a $20 waffle maker. Heats up well and doesn't stick. The waffles that it creates is sort of a cross between Belgian and regular waffles. Which was I was looking for because I couldn't for the world decide which one to choose. The cons. When it heats up, there's a weird smell, doesn't really bother me. Just FYI. And the texture of the waffles is shiny and ISNT the texture of what true waffles ought to be. I put 1 half cup of batter in the first 3 pictures and 3 quarters cup batter in the last one. You can definitely tell the difference. Overall this I was satisfied with this affordable product, but would definitely invest in a better waffle maker if I had the money. Click link in description for more information.